Hello viewers, today I'm going to be showing the telephone equipment we have in this house. Um, so starting at the, at the beginning here, if I can get this up, it's kind of tight. Um, we have a Panasonic KX TGE 470 base. And um, a KX TGEA 40 handset. In the bedroom, we have a Jabra Cruiser 2. Um, paired to the headset line, basement, we have a KT KX TGEA 40. And um, this is the charger that it uses, basic Panasonic charger. And over here, where the cord phones are, so it comes into this splitter right here. And so this is a, pull this one out. This one is a Southwestern Bell. Freedom phone. I don't know what model number necessarily. Um, one of those numbers, maybe. Um, and we have a um, we have a uh, Western Electric. Um, uh, 250, I think, or I think 550, I don't know, it's the one that doesn't have the dial pad, um, I actually had to take this apart once, I just took it apart to see what was wrong, um, this handset, um, has an issue, um, the mic doesn't work, because it got disassembled by my brother, and he pulled the speaker out, so I kind of fix the speaker you have to shake the handset to get the wires to contact sometimes it's really not that efficient um which i think this is the model number 500 um i think that's the manufactured date so um october of 1980 maybe um correct me if i'm wrong on that uh this was my grandma and grandpa's phone. Um, uh, but yeah, this this one still works on the system. Um, Cause it just connects to our modem upstairs. Uh, so here, it still has the bell system property, not for sale on the bottom um bell system western electric i can dial the voicemail from here i can't dial it using star codes i have to dial our home number this kind of broke it's it still works this jack is fine um it's the handset that has issues i want to get like a i don't know maybe a Cisco 8800 series handset, even though it's not the default handset, but I just use the current handset as a, um, switch for it. Um, oh, I just found the mile number on this. It's an, I don't know if you can see that, but FM2552B. with caller ID. Um, I actually have this phone hooked up um, mainly because our Panasonic system, which is our main phone, um, only stores about 30 call um, calls in the system. 
Oh, and one more thing I forgot to show you, just a second. This is our digital voice adapter. Um, as you can see, so our modem, this is our cable connection that's split behind here. Um, one goes to this modem, which I'll do another video about over home network um, later. And this, so this used to be our internet modem. It's not anymore. Um, it's only for phone since it's cat or it's deck or Doxis three. Um, I'm gonna try to hack into this cause there's nothing on it. Literally this was just, this has been like this for a couple months now. Um, DPQ, it's a Cisco DPQ3212. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the phone system. Um, also, yeah, so this is the main base for the whole system. Cause how it connects to our house is we have this, uh, it's hard to get this jack back in the wall, but it goes through here and um, connects to the, all the jacks. Um, this one is the Panasonic line and this is the modem. Um, but that goes to all the jacks. I can show you, the wiring is really weird in this house for this. So let me go show So this you. is the telephone junction box, as you can see. Um, this wire right here is the main wire that comes in from the upstairs jack. Um, and there's, so for the, um, all the rest of the jacks in the house, even though there's all these wires going out, as you can see, well, besides this foam plug right here, that one comes down here and hooks up even though this is like a cat five wire. Um, but anyway, only one of those, I haven't found any, sorry, I actually hit stop recording. I haven't found any other phone jacks that aren't on this. Um, so some of them are disconnected. Up there is where the century link line used to come in. Um, so yeah, that's the phone system in this house. Um, thank you for watching and have a good day.